Hi everyone, welcome back to another Snapshot video. It's currently snapshots aren't too exciting. It's mostly fine tuning and smaller changes that are done to the existing features that are implemented. Nothing really new got added. So let's quickly take a look at what changed this week and also last week. I was too ill to record a video last week. Two new blocks have been added to the game this week that could maybe be described as bamboo logs because they act similar when it comes to crafting recipes and similar to logs you can also strip them. So here the more green version is the default one that you can craft. Kind of looks like somebody took 16 bamboo and made a bundle out of it if you look at it from on top. But of course the crafting recipe doesn't need 16, it needs 9. So out of 9 bamboo you can make a block of bamboo. Which can also be crafted into planks. You can no longer craft the planks directly. The 2 by 2 crafting recipe, so basically you have to make the bamboo lock first. And then you can craft that into planks. It also means yeah, in order to get one bamboo plank you will need 4.5 bamboo instead of 4 now. So minimal change there. I have a suspicion this block was added to make the crafting recipe for the hanging sign a bit more consistent. So for the normal wood types you need 6 stripped locks and 2 chains to get 6 hanging signs. And similarly you now need 6 of the stripped bamboo locks and 2 chains to get 6 signs. So no longer are planks required to craft the hanging sign. You can also use the block of bamboo or the block of stripped bamboo as fuel. Similar to normal locks, you can smelt one and a half items with it. What you can't do with it is to turn it into charcoal. So if you would try that, no success. The wax skin also has been changed this week. So they made them look a bit more angrier. They have some mean eyebrows now. And if you get attacked, they even change the color. They will get red. There we go. One is attacking. But apart from that, nothing changed. So they still have the same hitbox and so on. Just they look a bit different. A couple items that you can yeah, place at the top or the side of a shulker box will now pop off if you open the shulker box. Like for example if there's a torch attached on the side or if you have a button on the top this will pop off. Pressure plate or tripwire hook here on the side. But there's still some exceptions. For example redstone dust you can place on top. This doesn't get destroyed. Or rails. So if you place it on the side it will pop off. Let's also quickly talk about something that was added last week that I'm really excited about because I was advocating for this. The Chisel bookshelf now has hopper support. So that means hoppers can refill the bookshelf and also empty it. The same goes for droppers, of course. So one use for this was, for example, yeah, something that I imagine would be quite handy to have a self-refilling bookshelf. For example, here we got a storage in the back with mending box. And just take out one after the other. It's quite convenient so you don't have to open an inventory every time you want to get a book. So you could, for example, take mending, unbreaking, fish, sea, silk touch, and make a nice pickaxe out of this. It's also now possible to make a book filter, for example. So I just added here a little bit of redstone. We try to put a book into the chiseled bookshelf here with the dropper. So I just put a couple of random items in there chanted books, normal books. And yeah, we can see the system in action. On the left we got all the <laughs> normal items and on the right we got all the books now. And last, a real snapshot classic lately changes to the creative menu as usual. So first let's actually talk about the spawner item that has been changed. Previously it always defaulted to a pick spawn if you place it down. And now it would just default to an empty spawner. Of course you can still use the spawn X to change um, yeah, type of spawner, but it's no longer possible by getting this item, for example, to immediately get a pick spawner this way. Bad news for Zycroft. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the reorganized tabs here. So there's now a colored blocks tab. It's all the blocks that are 16 colors of, like all the types of wool, carpet, terracotta. Also the default terracotta, so actually 17 terracotta blocks, same with glass, concrete, concrete powder, and so on, is organized in here. Okay, this means some of the other tabs are a bit less crowded. All right, then there's another one, operator utilities. So here we got command blocks, light blocks and so on. So all the type of items and blocks you previously had to use a command to get. You can now enable this. So by, by default, this tab is not here. You need to go to options, controls, operator items tab. And you can turn it off or on. Alright, so those were the most important changes in the last weeks of snapshots. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.